Five days after a storm brought severe flash flooding, the employees of a beloved restaurant are still cleaning up what over four feet of water left behind. I'm Kendall Brandt, your neighborhood reporter. I'm at Backwoods Crossing off of Mayhan Drive, and as you can see, they're still experiencing flooding from last week's storm. Now, employees tell me that the community is banding together to support them as they begin the cleanup process. It brings me so much joy, and it's definitely my home away from home. Zoe Allaire's restaurant home, Backwoods Crossing, has been dealing with flooding for five days. You put your heart and soul and physical energy into it and then seeing it literally all wash away was a pretty gutting feeling. Along with much of the produce she worked hard to grow. I had just set up the melon plot last week. An area that received more than nine inches of rain on Wednesday evening and Thursday morning. I know the parking lot and the front garden's definitely gonna be flooded. I didn't expect it to be as severe as it was. It's water that is still covering the road in the bomb and Capitola communities. As of Monday afternoon, Leon County leaders still have parts of Capitola and bomb road closed. I reached out to them to see what neighbors should do if their homes were impacted by debris. They told me you can leave the debris to be taken for a normal yard debris pickup or go to one of the four rural waste sites. Allaire says they have to wait until the water goes away to assess most of the damage that was left behind. While physically we can't use much help right now, um, having that you know community support behind us is is driving us to you know push through. What she's talking about: over fifteen thousand dollars raised in two days by Tallahassee neighbors and beyond. It's all to support rebuilding parts of their farm and supporting over 50 hourly employees that depend on the restaurant for a living. Seeing the amount of backing and support that we've just received in a few days is really, really encouraging. And the employees here that you know need their job security couldn't be more grateful that we have a community that's standing behind us and willing to help any way they can and you know keep us standing and. It just, it means the world to us. Allaire tells me they're planning a community cleanup day where people can come out and show their support as soon as all of this water has gone off the property. In Northeast Tallahassee, Kendall Brandt, ABC 27.